Alrighty guys, we're back again with another video today, and today I wanted to discuss prestige of things that you get in PvE relative to World of Warcraft, more specifically in Mythic Plus, um, and just like the mounts, the titles, and like what you're going to be gaining come Shadowlands, because they announced about 20 days ago that there was going to be a new Keystone Master and a title, like there's going to be a mount and a title associated with Keystone Masters. Um, the title is going to be The Sinful, and it's going to come on completions of all Shadowlands Season 1 dungeons at Mythic, Mythic Level 10 difficulty or higher within the time limit. And then the Keystone Master, which will have the Mount Reward, the Sin Touch Deathwalker, will come with all dungeons being done on a 15 or higher. And so basically, the core function of this video I wanted to talk about was prestige of the reward system in World of Warcraft as it currently stands. More specifically for Mythic Plus, but this also kind, it kind of also works for Raid because you can make an argument for it. A little bit less so because they have the Hall of Fame, but even still. Um, so basically for Mythic Plus, Mythic Plus's reward structure is already significantly limited. And the reason that it's significantly limited is because it doesn't have prestige behind it like its counterpart PvP does. PvP, for example, has rank 1 titles um, for the top... 0.1% of the arena player base. They have Gladiator for 50 wins in the threes bracket over the 2400 rating. They have cosmetic rewards in the form of transmog and titles for every single like uh, tier up until Gladiator, at which point you get the Gladiator title and the elite class title. Um, and, and then you get like transmog, transmog rewards for every tier bracket that you get up, like uh, 1600. 1800, 2100, and 2400, you get like different recolors of transmogs or whatever. Uh, and so all of those things are available for PvP. In addition to that, the rank one has a permanent title because all the other titles, like the sinful, like you see here for uh, Mythic Plus, are temporary titles and they go away at the end of a patch. Meaning that the rank one one is the most prestigious because at the end of the patch, you will get a permanent title such as the Notorious Gladiator, the Dread Gladiator, uh, the Vengeful Gladiator, just like random permanent Gladiator titles that kind of allow you to flex off how sick you are at the World of Warcraft and just allow you to be, allow you to flex on your friends, basically, right? It's just show status and it's show prestige. And right now, Mythic Plus doesn't have anything like that. Sure, right now, Mythic Plus has something for Mythic Level 10 difficulty, fine. It has something for all, doing all dungeons in Mythic level 15 difficulty, but it doesn't have the higher tier rewards. They don't have the, the Mythic level 20s. All dungeons done at level 20 or higher, which I would say is a pretty hard task in of itself. And then it doesn't have the 0.1% title, the rank 1 title. Uh, and, and I would say that that's actually a pretty important thing that should be apparent in the game. And the way that I think that they should go about solving this is that I think that they should add an in-game leaderboard and do something where they, I don't want to say take Raider IO scoring, but use a heavily influenced version of Raider IO scoring in terms of like turning it into an in game leaderboard and allow players to really push in a way that is going to be properly rewarded by Blizzard. Because people fucking love cosmetic rewards, whether it be mounts, transmog, titles. Things that show that they are the sickest at their craft. And right now, I feel like Mythic Plus, and especially how many people are actually doing dungeons, is starting to uh, push into the realm of possibility where they should be adequately rewarded. Right now, this game lacks a lot of prestige whenever you do a lot of cool things. Um, the Hall of Fame for Raid, I would argue that that's not even really that prestigious for, for how good a lot of these guilds really are. Uh, the hall, sure, the Hall of Fame is at least something, but the Hall of Fame is just a very small portion of what the prestige really feels like for the guilds. I think maybe it's because the title kind of sucks. Like, Fame Slayer of and then Boss is not like, maybe, not like a great title, so there could be some fix with Raid. But this is even like a problem in other aspects of the game. Like, I even saw recently that they added in a toy that allows you to have like permanent tier 3 transmog on your character, and that ruins the prestige and the allure of having tier three bought either off the black market auction house or getting it back whenever it was available. 
and like I, I think that there should be a push for more prestigious rewards in World of Warcraft in general. And I think that starting in Mythic Plus and giving more prestigious rewards than just the completion of the plus ten to uh, plus ten level dungeons, all of them, and the plus fifteen dungeons, all of them, is important. I think that having these uh, ha having these rewards for lower levels is important. But I, I do also think that having the rewards for higher levels of completion for Mythic Plus Dungeons is equally important, especially allowing players to show off how skillful they are and really allowing for there to be some form of an in-game for Mythic Plus outside of the MDI. Because I think right now that's a big, a big part and a big issue that a lot of top players have is that there's no real in-game for Mythic Plus outside of the MDI. And if you don't want to be an MDI competitor... There really isn't anything for you except for like maybe streaming, uh, but even then, there's no like long term end game for you. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to really make this video talk about prestige of item rewards in World of Warcraft, how that could be applicable to Mythic Plus. Maybe something that the developers could look into in regards to reward structures or reward systems for dungeons specifically. Uh, I also do hope they re look at how the um, the Hall of Fame ends up working out because I don't feel like the Hall of Fame really feels that great, but I. Do it's hard for me to articulate why. I, I think it just doesn't feel. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't. I don't know what exactly it is. But yeah, the Hall of Fame doesn't feel that great either. But I, I think that the Hall of Fame is just like something that you could take, and it's an acceptable reward. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, check out my stuff down in the description. Check out this Wowhead article as well if you would like to read a little bit more about it. See the mounts uh, that they have featured here. Check out my Twitch stream. I've been streaming a lot lately doing some beta moonkin stuff, live hunter keys occasionally as well. So check out all that stuff down in the description and hope you guys all have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you later.